Let's take a look at finding the volume of a rectangular prism. First of all, a rectangular prism is uh, more simply just a box, um, a serial box, uh, uh, things like that, uh, a box that you would ship something in, any kind of a, a square thing, a room perhaps, but uh, a rectangular prism, the fancy name for that. There's a formula we can use to find that volume. That formula is V for volume, of course, equals length times width times height. And the length and width of the, basically all three of them are interchangeable, however you want to think about your prism. But we're going to multiply the three measurements that we're giving, given for the three dimensions of the the box. So to find the volume of this particular uh, rectangular prism, we're going to multiply V equals 25 times 10 times 14. We just multiply the three dimensions, the width, the depth, or the length, however you want to talk about it, and the height that will give us our volume. So we go ahead and multiply those. Grab our calculator. 25 times 10 times 14, which gives us 3,500. Now, volume, when we talk about volume, what we're really talking about is how many little one by one cubes cubes that would be one foot by one foot would it take to fill this thing up that's what the volume is telling us in this case we have 3500 and cubes hmm, the label for volume just so happens that it is cubed so we have feet cubed or sometimes you might hear it referred to as cubic feet of something so that's finding the volume of, re of that rectangular prism let's try this other one okay again we just multiply the three dimensions the depth or the width the length and the height so on this one we have V equals take 5.4 times 7.5 and times 18.3 we're going to go ahead and multiply those numbers so we have 5.4 times 7.5 times 18.3 which gives us a volume of 741 point one five 741.15 and again this would be 741.15 little squares that measure one inch by one inch little cubes that measure one inch by one inch so we're talking about inches cubed or cubic inches sometimes you hear about things that are measured in cubic inches so finding the volume of a rectangular prism, pretty straightforward. Basically all we need to do is multiply the three dimensions, the height, the width, the length, and remember when we label, our answer is in cubic whatever units we're working with. Cubic feet or feet cubed, cubic inches or inches cubed, and so on.